Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's see what we can do with the remainder of our fourth day here. I talked to Gus earlier. I went and bought some seeds, and we're going to go and plant them. Let's see if anything's in this guy's trash. We probably should leave well enough alone, but every once in a while you get a piece of bread or something that'll help you out. Waste not, want not, I always say. I don't dig through dumpsters in real life, though. Let's be clear. Let's get this bridge fixed, and we'll head over and see what we can find. Now, I probably should have dropped some stuff off. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sap, which is easy to come by, the fiber, and the stone. And then I will use those slots to pick up the rest of what's on the beach. Not necessarily the most efficient way of doing things. But I do find if you have an inventory capacity issue, you should prioritize the higher value items over the others. This puts me in a difficult position. What I should do is go and sell the medium quality coral to Willy if I can get there in time. In fact, I may sell him two different things. Clams are pretty easy to come by. I'm going to sell him those, and then I'm going to go pick up the other two elements that were on the beach. We have a cockle shell. And an oyster. Now, I do also find that the beach is a pretty obvious place to find the worms that stick up. There don't appear to be any, but I do find that the contrast makes them easier to find here. Just a tip. I do know that certain artifacts can be only found in certain locations. So you do want to look around everywhere. I'd love to pick that up, but my inventory is full. A common affliction when you have 12 slots and a wide variety of different item types to pick up. I'm going to walk home. I'm going to plant these 13 potatoes. And I am going to put the shells away. Right now, I'm going to be playing as the hoarder in that I want to take at least one of everything that I can to make sure that when we get to the bundle portion of the game, we can fill as many of those as possible. Now, I do want to actually pick up some spring onions. Some, as in more than one. All right. And we'll chomp down on these as needed while we plant the remaining 13 potatoes. Now, this is a pretty good space for them since we just make two more rows of five plus the three from the row that we just finished. And then I will eat a spring onion. Now you can min-max your energy so that you make sure that you don't waste any food whatsoever. But I don't think that's the point of this particular exercise. I think the point of this game is to enjoy some casual gameplay. That said, I'm going to min-max my energy so that I don't waste any unnecessary food this particular time. What do I do with the rest of my day? I think, even though it's 7.50 at night, I think I make a brief circuit of the area by Marnie's Ranch Let's see if we can't pick up some spring onions to replace the ones that we used today. And maybe some additional forage. One tip that you can use is to only carry the tools that you need. Hi, Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It is lovely. 
And here we have some worms. I should not have done that because it uses energy to use your hoe. That could very well have exhausted me, which would have some negative repercussions now and tomorrow. If you get exhausted, you start moving at a sluggish pace, and the next day you come back with, I believe, half energy, which can be quite debilitating. That's 20 spring onions, and it only took us an hour and a half of game time to pick them. So I'm going to come this way, see if we can find some horseradish or some anything forage-wise so that we don't have to use any more energy, but we can still milk a little bit more out of our day. It's getting quite dark, so it is a little hard to find forage. This episode should be a fair bit shorter than the episode that preceded it. Again, just because of that arcade game that we did. But I will try to use every last bit of this day to make it just a little bit longer. Cherry tree. Of course, I run the risk of the other exhaustion, which is if you hit I believe 2 a.m. and you have not gone to bed yet you will pass out from exhaustion and they have to carry you the townsfolk have to carry you back to town and they charge you some of your money it's a reasonable exchange for pressing past the time limits but the game ensures that you get at least four solid hours of sleep which is more than you get as a parent sometimes, trust me. Trust me, it's, it's almost generous in that regard. <laughs> so we've made it back to the house. We have another couple hours before we have to go to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and travel up here to the northern path. There's often a fair amount of forage here, at least three or four items. If we get one or two, I'll be happy. This is a low luck day, so that may not happen. But here's a horseradish for us. And if we are lucky slash brave slash foolish, we can talk to Linus before we have to head home. Hmm, do you want something from me? Again, I don't remember the voices that I did. I do have documentary evidence of what the voices were, so I will try to <laughs> regulate those somewhat, unless you find it amusing for me to change them every time. Nothing particularly noteworthy up that way. I think I'd be really pushing my luck to do much more today. Go ahead and put the horseradish in here. It gives us three of those. We could use them for energy. Instead, I think I'm going to take two of them out and sell them. And then I will call it a night. Sell them by right-clicking this box. And then you can shift-click to drop them right in. I'll go into my house and tuck myself in. Thank you so much. And rather than end the episode right this moment, I'm going to actually watch the leveling sequence in case we happen to get a level. Foraging. So we get plus one axe proficiency, and we get a new cooking recipe, Survival Burger. That recipe, I believe, can only be crafted once you have a kitchen, so it takes a little while longer to actually make it than to acquire the recipe for it. I will thank you for watching, and I hope that you folks have a lovely day.